In this video, I want to look at solving linear equations. Anything that can be written in the form ax plus b equal to zero. So let's look at a general algorithm for solving these equations. The first step is to try to simplify. If we have parentheses, we might want to clear those. If we have like terms on one side of the equation, we want to combine those. If we have fractions, we can multiply both sides by the common denominator to cancel the fractions, anything we can to simplify. Next, we'll get all of the variables on one side of the equation. Make sure there, the variable is only on one side of the equation. We get all the constants on the other side of the equation. Anything that does not have a variable needs to be on the opposite side as the things with variables. We then divide by the coefficient of the variable. So let's look at some examples of this process. Let's start with a basic one, 3x plus 8 equal to 14. There's nothing to simplify here, and all of our variables are already on one side of the equation. So we're going to move to step 3. We want to get constants on the other side. So I want to move this 8 to the other side of the equation. In order to do that, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Because 8 minus 8 is 0. So the left-hand side is 3x. The right-hand side, 8 minus 14 is 6. We then want to divide by the coefficient. Divide by the 3. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so my solution would be x equal to 2. Let's look at one slightly more complicated. 4x minus 1 equal to 7x plus 8. We still don't have any parentheses or any like terms on one side. So we need to start by getting our variables on one side of the equation. I can either move the 4x to this side or move the 7x over to the other side. And I'm going to work on the 4x. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. 4x minus 4x is 0. We then have negative 1 is equal to 7x minus 4x is 3x plus 8. We then make sure all of our constants are on the other side. So I need to move this plus 8 to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Negative 1 minus 8 is negative 9. And then 8 minus 8 is 0. We then want to divide by this coefficient, divide by the 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times x. So we get our solution of negative 3 is equal to x. Next, 2x minus 3x minus 1 equal to 3x plus 12. We now need to simplify. I want to get rid of parentheses. A negative in front of a parentheses needs to be distributed all the way through. So we have minus 3x. And then minus negative 1 would make it plus 1. Is equal to 3x plus 12. From there, we can combine like terms on this side. 2x minus 3x is negative x. Plus 1 equal to 3x plus 12. We then need all of our variables on one side, so I'm going to move this negative x over. So I'm going to do that by adding x to both sides. 1 is equal to 4x plus 12. We then need to move our constants to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 1 minus 12 is negative 11. 12 minus 12 is 0. Finally, I need to divide by the coefficient. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And that gives me negative 11 over 4 is equal to x. For our last example, let's look at one dealing with fractions. 2 thirds x plus 1 equal to 1 half minus 2x. We're going to start by finding the least common denominator. The least common denominator between 3 and 2 is 6. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation 
by six. Two thirds times six is four. This is four X. Six times one is six. One half times six is three. Minus two X times six is minus 12 X. So by multiplying through by the least common denominator, I can simplify this equation. We now want to get the variables on both sides. I'm going to move this minus 12x over. So I'm going to add 12x to both sides. 4x plus 12x is 16x plus 6 is equal to 3. I'm then going to move the 6 over to get all the constants on one side. So subtracting 6 from both sides gives me 16x is equal to minus 3. Finally, I'm going to divide by the coefficient of x. Divide both sides by 16 to get x is equal to negative 3 over 16 as my solution.